Actually, we've had a bit of breathing space in between these games, a week on the training ground. How's that been for you, Lars? Yeah, it's been good. Um, we haven't had a lot of time to get out on the pitch and you know work on shape and little tactical stuff because we've just been playing back-to-back. -back, so having a bit of time where we can gel together, talk about a few things going into the next few games is, is always good. When you're kind of thrown in the midst of a hectic fixture, a fixture schedule, what is that like as a footballer? Um, it's fun because you're playing games, that's that's what you want to do. You want to be out there in front of fans and show people what you can do. But on the same side, you have to like, there is risk of injury, there is risk of fatigue. But as long as you stay away from that side of it, it's it's all good. You just want to be out there playing. For you, this season, obviously, you made the move from West Ham. How have you found your progress in the side this, uh, this season? Yeah, I found it good. Uh, obviously, when I first came, I wasn't playing as much, but then um, I think September time broke into the team and I felt like I did well. I felt like the team picked up some good results. Then um, obviously we had I had an injury, we had the World Cup break, came back and I felt as well I've done well. Um, I struggled at first coming from 23 football. It was a it is a big difference coming into men's football. Um, but yeah, overall I'd say I've enjoyed it and I've, I feel like I've done well. Yeah, you touched on kind of the relentlessness of first team football and you don't have to look as far as the championship for that. How do you feel as though you've adapted to kind of this level of competitive football? I feel like I've adapted well. Like I said, when I first came, it was a bit of a shock. Um, it was something that I had to get used to, but I feel like over the season and as the season's progressing, I'm progressing with it and I'm finding it easier going into games. So, um, yeah, I feel like I've adapted fairly well to it. And in terms of the team's performance this season, there's been no ceiling put on the team's outcomes and you know the objectives. How do we feel as though the team have fared at this level of football? I feel like we've done really well. Um, I think if you look at us going into the season, maybe people would have thought we wouldn't have been where we are now. But like you said, there's no ceiling. We go into every game believing that we can we can win. And when you look at the table, like just a few wins puts you a few places higher. So we go into every game trying to win and we'll see where it takes us. And youth is a big part of this side and you're obviously a big part of that youth policy. Does that, does that give the team a bit of fearlessness going into games, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, like I said, we just go into games believing we can outplay and beat anyone. Like, uh, and like you said, the, there is a fearlessness throughout the team that like we're we're young players. They just want to go out and prove ourselves because a lot of us haven't a lot, a lot a lot of us coming into the season haven't played first team football or played championship football. So coming in, we just want to prove that we can play at this level. And you've touched on kind of your own injury issues throughout the kind of course of the season. What's that like to kind of overcome as a footballer, especially a young footballer who hasn't really had those sort of knockbacks? Yeah, it was tough because uh, obviously I was playing and I felt like I was playing well when I got injured. So to be out of the team for, I think it was six or seven weeks and seeing everyone else play and see the team pick up points, you kind of want to be out there improving and showing people what you can do, but you have to kind of watch from the side. But yeah, um, when you're out, you just have to keep working and believe that you can come back better than you were when you're out and and help the team. And what's the current feeling in the dressing room like at this moment in time? Obviously, lots of optimism amongst the fan base. What's it like within the dressing room? Yeah, the um, the feeling's always good. Like even if we lose on a weekend or we don't pick up the result we want, we always believe that we have enough to to put it right the next game. Um, yeah, we we just like I said before, we go into every game thinking we can win and a few poor results or a few results that we're not happy with doesn't change that feeling amongst the team. It's a really good group of, la really good group of lads and yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling amongst the team. Another big challenge this weekend against Stoke City, a side that are well accustomed to this level of football. How do you, how do you see this one at the weekend? Um, it should be an interesting game. Uh, we're all looking forward to it. Me personally, I'm looking forward to it. I didn't play against them in the reverse fixture, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing against them. But like I said, as a team, we're going to go in and we'll work hard the rest of this week. We'll go in and hopefully we can win the game. I guess you can always expect a, a physical battle against against a team like Stoke as well. Yeah, I guess they have that a reputation of that in the past. Um, but yeah, we'll do our due diligence leading up to the game and we'll prepare and try and get the three points.